What we would like to do is we um, understand that I guess you're having some issues and concerns with Cedar Haven and um, before I really get into kind of the meat of the whole things, um, to give you a little bit of background, for about eight years I was employed with Schuylkill County and for the past four and a half years I was employed as the Assistant County Administrator. In 2004, um, the county contracted with Service Access and Management and actually um, runs the entire mental health program for the county with tremendous success. In early 2012, um, the county was having pretty much, I guess, the same issues that you're having right now with Cedar Haven is they really didn't know what to do with the facility, um, was losing a little bit of money, and they, they were just looking, you know, they weren't sure did they want to sell it, um, you know, there, there were just really a, you know, a plethora of things that they were thinking to do with it. And the decision was made to, since we have such, since the county has such a wonderful relationship with Sam, to bring them in and have them do an initial assessment of the building itself, the daily policy procedures, the cash flow, the budgeting, everything. And that's exactly what was done. Um, so over, I believe, was it a... Uh, two it was a two-day period. Yeah, two-day period that um, we were actually on site because we did request information in advance that we had an opportunity to review before we entered the facility on those two days of right. what we called the field work. Mm -hmm. And then they came in, actually met with um, various department heads from everything from IT to nursing um, to the administrator to the business office manager and compiled all the data and then came back to the commissioners with their recommendation and as it turns out um, they did enter at the time in I believe it was July of 2012 into a three-year contract um, with service access management to actually run the facility itself. The commissioners still have their hands on the pulse of the nursing home itself but they run the day-to-day -day operations of it, the budgeting, the financing, pretty much everything. They provide reports to the commissioners as far as the numbers and everything goes. Um, one of, you know, being that's the last place where people can go, it's, you know, the poorhouse and stuff like that, but, you know, the reality is, is that all, as all nursing homes are, it's a business. And really, I think what Sam has been able to do um, you know, in that short time frame has been something that the county would never have been able to do itself. It really has been tremendous as to what they can do, and I think the same can be done for Cedar Haven. Even though is the uh, pension for the Rest Haven employees, is that pension plan current, up to date? Yes, when, when Sam came in, they took, um, I believe, 10 of the employees to basically just start out. They took a lot of the key players, administrator, business office manager, um, the entire business office staff, staff development, activity director, a lot of your big players. And we're hoping that in early 2014, that Sam can take on the remainder of the employees for the facility. Now, Rest Haven is a one hundred and four. You took them as your employees. As yes. your Sam expense. employees. Correct. Yes. Yep. So they Everything. no longer work for the county. Nope. Right. No. Nope. Okay. Rest Haven is a one hundred and forty-two bed facility, um, and we're hoping to take on all the rest of the employees in very early next year. And what is the? Uh, you said that commissioners still have their hand. What is the relationship then with, between the facility and the county commission? Um, well, we provide, um, me, we uh, have meetings with them, provide reports at their discretion. I believe that we try to meet with them quarterly. Yes, and, and the contract is, um, I would call it administrative management, an administrative management contract. That's why we, you know, selected those, or the commissioners selected those 10 employees that were the key administrators of the facility. And um, so that's the way that we've been trying to um, handle it. So essentially, Rest Haven then is your business, am I correct? We manage the day-to-day -day operations of it, yes. And, it is. And, and if there is a shortfall, uh, where does that come from? The shortfall is, it would come from the county itself in the form of a short-term loan, mm -hmm. which is then paid back as needed. Um, like the loan would be as needed. 
the, when we went, we went in in March of 2012 Correct. to do the assessment and um, actually started on July 1st of 2012. And with that, we agreed to negotiate with the union on behalf of the commissioners because at that time the union contract still wasn't resolved from, I believe, 2010. So we, have, we um, began negotiating with the union on, on their behalf. We also um, brought in our own general ledger system. So we actually process all of the accounting reports and the checks are processed at the facility, but we're able to bring our, um, upload all of our data into the controller's office so that they were um, able to rely on that data for their internal reporting as well. So that's one of the things that we took out of, um, from the county because it's a lot of work, the payroll, um, for that many employees, and I'm sure you have 300 plus employees, so that's a, that's a big amount of, of payroll checks and um, accounts payable checks. Mm -hmm. So we brought that all in house um, at Rest Haven as well, and um, we're able to satisfy the controller's office as far as controlling segregation of duties, all the things that they need to do. We brought our system, the controller's office actually is online with our system and does approvals um, online with all of our um, operations as well. So it's but your question about the pension being yes. current. There's yes. No deficit pension. Uh, I know that it's fully funded. Is that it your is. is that your question? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. um, it's incredible. Yeah. It's awesome. So. But uh, that was fully funded when you took over. Yes. Correct. Yeah. yeah there was no there that. was yes. no that's issue a, with the problem. county as far as I Something that's am seen. aware of. You aware that that's a huge issue for us? Yes. The funding. Yes, and the, the pension line is a budgeted line, an annual budget line in, in the Rest Haven budget. What was the cost when you did the assessment initially in March of Oh, it was minimal. How do you remember? I believe it was, um, was it 6000 I think it was $6,000. $6, and how do you base the, so the county, is it, the county's paying Sam. Yes. To run the facility. The management. Uh, it's a, we have a management contract, a three-year okay, management what, what contract. What is the fee based on, or is it a, is it a flat? Is it it's a flat amount based on um, the number of employees and all of the, the corporate work that we provide to the facility as well, that what we bring into the facility. Right, because a lot of what was being charged to Rest Haven were indirect costs right. for processing the check requests every day, processing the payroll, um, IT support, things like that. Um, that pretty much a lot of that has just been wiped out because now Sam does all of that itself internally. They process at Rest Haven. Um, they uh, print their own checks. It's again, everything is approved by the controller's office. No checks can be printed or released without the controller's approval. Um, there was a whole process that was set up that actually did work very well, which I was involved with that as still being part when I was um, employed with the county. Um, but really, they're, for lack of a better phrase, they're they're really running independently, if you will. Um, again, you know, still being recognized as the county home, um, but they're able to do almost all of the day-to-day -day operations, um, it, you know, independent from the county itself. And um, there really was, there, there was a very tiny marketing team in place prior to Sam coming in, but nothing um, like they were able to do with this. They redeveloped the whole website. Um, they're now on Facebook as, you know, that seems to be the trend <coughs> nowadays. Um, and it really has worked. Have there been reductions in staff uh, at Rest Haven? No, ap actually we're, uh, we were doing, inc we're increasing, increasing staff because the census did increase significantly since the time uh, that we arrived. So there's a need for an increase in staff for patient day, so. Um, and the same, the, we have the same amount of management staff as well. The director is still there? Yes. yes. Okay. We have um, the, the uh, nursing home administrator, the business office manager, <coughs> the three business office staff, um, staff development, maintenance, activities. Um, director of nursing. And the director of nursing is not with us. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, don't, you don't have a, a, a quick fix. But right, I, right. I, I'm, I'm trying to... For me, I'm trying to see the relevance between what you've done mm -hmm. at Rest Haven and what you might do for CRA. I think like Craig said, the strategic plan is, it was one of the ways that we could actually dig into all of the departments to identify where the strengths were and where, you know, so we can build on those and as well as where the weaknesses were 
and also we involved the uh, residents and their families. We did staff surveys to find out, you know, what was happening with that. So those were the things that were necessary related to their particular problems. Right. We don't really, I mean, understanding the right. financial concerns that you're right. expressing, we don't really have a sense of, you know, the root causes of your problems, and we wouldn't necessarily know that without having a little bit more opportunity to take a look at your information. I guess if I can be straightforward, what I'm looking to do is close the $1.5 million general fund contribution to Cedar Haven and also be able to fund the percent or the portion of the ARC attributable to Cedar Haven from the money that comes in for Cedar sure. Haven. Right. That, in other words, to establish a budget of their own and make it work. That's what I'm looking for. Is that something you think you can do? And, and that's what, we, that's what um, our goal was for um, Schuylkill County as well. I will say, um, based on the way that revenue was received for nursing homes, there's a cash there's a difference between the, the cash flow need is a very important aspect of running that facility. You can have a balanced budget, but the, the way that medical assistance is paid and the timing of those payments, there is still a cash flow need. So as far as a permanent general fund allocation versus almost like what we would call a line of credit, there's, there still needs to be a cash, a cash availability to that home to be able to operate just based on on the needs of the facility. Um, for that, do you think you can make Cedar Haven self-sustaining? Well, that, that's usually our goal. Uh, that would be the goal going in. Yeah. But, you know, and like Craig said, until we were able to sit down with administration, the understand, right. yeah, that's, that's our goal. It was done with Rest Haven itself. Um, and one of the goals, um, well, I know when Sam initially came in and they looked at everything was um, how, you know, they looked at all of the contracted services because like many nursing facilities, a lot of the, um, the, the daily operations is contracted out, laundry, um, pharmacy, dietary. things like dietary, um, physical therapy, they things are like contracted. that. contracted. Mm -hmm. And well, you know, one we, of... We tried to do that here with dietary last year, it would have saved us $500,000, but the union grieved it and won an arbitration to stop it. So well, those one, are nice things. I mean, I yeah. would like to have seen that go farther too mm -hmm. with the laundry and... You know, well, so Rest Haven was contracted with um, a laundry company and for many years, even from when I was there, and that's going back to 2005, and <laughs> laundry was taking taken a look at. Um, just from top to bottom. There were a lot of issues like with missing, missing clothing items, which then the nursing home itself becomes responsible for. So a cost analysis was done, and it was actually um, more cost beneficial for us to bring the laundry service back in-house. And that's actually what happened is we, we just completed that I would have to say maybe about three months ago, with tremendous success. We actually partnered with the company um, that does the housekeeping, has the housekeeping contract for Rest Haven. And they came in, brought in the equipment. We completely redid a room to have the laundry facility there. Um, the lost items went from, I don't know how many a day, to zero. But you're still contracting. Um, we are just, we are contracting yeah. doing it, it in the, within the facility. Correct. Yes. Um, but it, you know, just that alone is going to save the facility um, year one over thirty thousand um, dollars. The overall budget of Rest Haven is is what approximately fifteen million, maybe about 11, 12. 11, 12 million. Yeah. Okay. Is is any of that county support now? Is there any general fund county support going to that budget, and was there before? Is there now, and if so? No, there is, there is no county allocation that's actually budgeted in. Currently, okay. no, right no. now. And when we did come in, there was a county allocation. Um, the county did allocate something to Rest Haven when we came in right. in uh, March of 12. Okay. okay. And they were able to basically zero that out. Including your, your service, your management fees? Mm-hmm. One of the things that, that Schuylkill County does is they do zero base budgeting, which means that, you know, they just, every line item has to be justified. And, you know, they've basically done that um, with success. So.
Do you uh, run other um, facilities for other counties? You know? No nurse, no long-term care facilities. I, mm -hmm. I was just going to say we, we don't operate any other nursing facilities, but we have operations in 15 other counties across the state. What, what kind of things? Uh, we do mental health, mental retardation services. We do 